Hi, welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. John here, and today we're going to debut for the first time on this channel the Weber. I'm going to cook some uh, baby back ribs on here slow using the snake method. Um, now we've got pit barrel videos, Blackstone videos, and now we're going to do my third favorite cooker, the Weber. And we're going to do this real easy. What I did was went ahead and put charcoal two layers or two. Uh, the length of two all the way around the uh, charcoal unit here and then added some directly in the center because that's where we're going to light so i have about 10 briquettes right in the center of this thing and once those get lit and ashed over a little bit, I'll be putting those toward the end of this snake and then it'll slowly uh, burn all the way around here. So we'll get a slow cook on these uh, ribs and uh, hopefully this should come out pretty, pretty good. So let me let this heat up and I'll be back in a minute. So I got the charcoal lit. I've got it set at one end of the snake so that it'll go ahead and roll around. And I've been preheating this for a while. I had it up to about 300 degrees and choked it off with this uh, damper here. I choked the bottom completely off and I'll just use this to control it from here on out. So I want to keep it between 225 and 250 for about five hours. First, add some of this. So I found a bag of this. This was about $6 and something at uh, Sam's Club. And it is just little briquettes. It says garlic and, and paprika. So I've never tried this before. And it just says that about six of them to any charcoal to add some spice and flavor. So we're gonna try this. And what I plan on doing Let's take this off. Also, I did add a pan of water uh, to help regulate the heat just a little bit. And this is an oven certified pan. It's an old pan, so you can use aluminum or whatever. So I'm gonna add, I want them kind of in the beginning because that's when the flavor most is most important. So I think actually maybe right there. And then we'll just add these, maybe one here. Uh, we'll see how well that does and just to kind of give it a little flavor there it says about you know we could add no i think that's good we're going to add those four and let that just slowly uh, smoke into it as well and now it's time for the star of the show the baby back ribs so i went ahead and added a little bit of mustard i just like mustard as a good sticking agent and i put it on both sides of it and added my homemade spg and sprinkled it all about throughout on both sides of these ribs and i did remove the membrane as well on the back of it um, i usually do that and then these are ready to go it just sat in there i kind of did this about the time i started the fire and everything which we're letting heat out now so i need to get this on i'm just going to put this right here so that's it now it's time to wait um, as this snake does start to burn and it's right here right now and it goes around and the heat kind of gets under part of the ribs as it moves i'll try to move it so that the direct heat is not directly under the ribs it, any time if possible to help it stay on the slower cook side uh, right now since i put the lid back on we're at about 175 so i'm going to bump it up just a little bit and i'll keep monitoring it and then once i get it up to about 225 250 that's where i'm going to go ahead and try to leave it and just check it every now and then so let's let these cook now i do have a rib video on the pit barrel cooker where i hang them in there and that's how i usually cook my ribs but i also got the weber and you know some of you may not have the pit barrel and and i like to cook in various ways so we'll see how it turns out 
So it's been a little over four hours to four and a half hours. And this thing still probably has another hour or so to go. Now, when I was cooking it, I did, if you look here, add some more charcoal on top. So you probably need a little bit more of a layer uh, on there. As you, let me show here. You can see I did layer a little more on there because I was having a little bit of trouble with maintaining the heat. So when you do this, probably, I probably put it on a little thin originally, uh, but you can see how it's looking real nice now, but it does have a little ways to go. So just showing you what it looks like right now. Everything's coming together soon. The next time I film, I should be inside cutting this and we'll see how it looks. It should taste fine. Also, you noticed how the uh, burn, it, it's really just going right down that snake. I just think I, I put it on too thin, probably do the a little more layer on top of that first layer. Uh, I don't cook this way that often, and that's why I like the pit barrel cooker, because you just throw it in, you set it, you pretty much forget it. Uh, but I like to try different things and uh, do do Weber uh, once in a while, so it's still going to be fine. It takes a little longer in this method and uh, should be great soon. Here's another look at it, and I went ahead and moved the uh, ribs so it's starting to get away from the heat as the heat starts to come over here. And we're back, and the ribs are done. They're off the grill. It's dark outside, so I didn't film taking them off, but they are here. It took a little longer. I said five hours. These actually cooked about seven hours, so these are a slow cook, and look really really amazing so let's first check out the bin test if we could well i think the bin test is a success look at that just bends right off on that one let's try this one yep look at that nice little bin going on there let's go ahead and cut into this one right here It smells great. See if you can see this on this one here. Look at that. Now it's time to tell with that. Uh, if I could see if I could taste that app or that spice, you know, that little charcoal I put on. Let's see. afterwards so get your favorite barbecue sauce and dip it add some hot sauce ever how you want it or just like this <laughs> oh it's great side of potato salad coleslaw or just straight ribs the Weber does an amazing job I am a big pit barrel cooker fan but if all you have is a Weber this makes great ribs and even if you have a pit barrel cooker once in a while, you just got to do it slow, do it on the, the Weber, let it just cook for several hours. This actually was about seven hours. Uh, it is amazing. You've got to try it if you haven't, or just cook whatever you want using that snake method. And you won't be disappointed.